I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I am. <laughs> Bro, I need to be so normal. I just fucking met Stray Kids. <laughs> just fucking met Stray Kids. Okay, let me tell you. So basically, they performed at GMA, right? And I, I am a stay local to the area of New York, New York shitty. Yeah, they pulled up at 4.50 in the morning. I pulled up at 5 a.m. So I just missed them, but it doesn't matter because I saw them. We were standing outside for a long time. I'm so tired. I'm taking a nap after this, but we saw them um rehearsing in like the monitor downstairs they were upstairs literally 8 30 on the dot they came downstairs and they're just like waving to us and as you can see i did the heart and bang chan did it back and i uh also here is changbin hi changbin i stopped giving a fuck about people judging me for liking k-pop when when I've experienced levels of happiness from K-pop that I have not experienced ever in my life. Like when I saw Stray Kids in 2022 and they're performing Mira, I was like jumping up and down and I literally, it was kind of out of an out of body experience because I was like, I've this is the happiest I've ever been. Like I'm so happy right now. That was a fucking crazy experience. And now I'm so I'm so happy right now. I'm so fucking happy. I look up to him so much as an artist and I literally bought Wolf Chan as like comfort because like when I bought it, I was kind of like, like sad. I, I see Bang Chan to me as like a source of comfort at times. And once again, I look up to him as an artist and as a rapper and lyricism. And I think he is such a talented an underrated producer. I'm like having them watching Skiz Code on my TV right now and I'm like, bro, I just met them. Life is fucking crazy. Life is so cool. Life is really cool.